Every Monday through Friday at noon, he spins for Power 107.5. But since becoming a parent, Dommy Styles has been interested in listening to a different kind of rhythm. The rhythm of who he is. So we asked him last April if he wanted to join us in taking a test to find out. Before the twins, I wouldn't have cared at all. But uh, yeah, now, you know, me and my wife, we talked a lot about it and uh, definitely it's just a big thing, you know. I want to know what they, what I'm genetically, you know, predisposed to, as well as you know what I might be passing along to them. He's also been interested in learning about his heritage. All I know is I'm African American, mm -hmm. come from the South, and I'm I'm really excited to find out what's going to be going on. And companies like 23andMe are helping people like Dami find out what is going on. In the last several years, it's been explosive growth in what we can tell you about your DNA and what it means. Dr. Emily Drabon, a 23andMe researcher and Ohio native, says that growth has allowed the test to show everything from health risks to your response to certain drugs. It also gives you an in-depth look at your ancestry. We've really pioneered a way to give the average person um, access to their genetic information. So with that in mind, I decided to take the test too. Where are we going? I have a two-year-old daughter and another son or daughter on the way soon. <laughs> so knowing could be invaluable to calculate what I may be passing down to them. To give 23andMe a sample, the process is simple. Fill a vial with saliva, mix it, seal it, and send it back. Six to eight weeks later, you know more about yourself than you probably ever knew possible. I'm ready to find out. Let's, let's get it going and, you know, have, have some fun. Fast forward to June, and Dami and I get our results. All that from a little bit of saliva. Dami says it was eye-opening. With me, I know a lot of with African American males, prostate cancer is a big thing, and said I was at the 49% risk of that, so that kind of touched, touched you know, the heartstrings a little bit. And when it came to his ancestry, I was like, wow. Some surprises. I knew I'm partially African. You know, yeah, I knew that part. But, you know, with it being, you know, 10% European and, what, well, 4% Asian and 4% um, Native American, it's like, wow. And for Dami and I, the results proved inspiring. And a good opportunity. Like I said, open my eyes, like, wow. Many of us just need that extra motivation to get up off that couch. And pull yourself up and out of risk. And now that I know that I'm at an increased risk for heart disease, it's pretty much a no-brainer for me to make changes to my lifestyle. I knew about it, but then, you know, you see it on paper, it's like, let me do something about it. And there's more. If you're interested, 23andMe offers a way for you to find distant or close relatives all through DNA. We can tell if two people are related because they have identical segments of DNA that they share, which means they inherited those segments of DNA from a common ancestor. We've had people that have had some really remarkable discoveries uh, in terms of finding biological uh, siblings or parents that they didn't know that they had and really having um, some kind of transformative experiences in building out their family tree. A look into the rhythm of you word up, word up. and a way to avoid any potential word up, word up. skips in the future. Yo.